Hello and welcome back. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do about this door. This door security, this security door is malfunctioning. It should be relatively easy to hack open this door, but you'd never get it to close again. The security of this building would be compromised. Lock down the security door. The door is now secure. In fact, it's so secure that nobody will get this through, get this door open again any time soon. Okay, that'll be helpful, I hope. You'll find little welcome. Okay. That should get us. F that should have gotten us through all the the quirks. So we're ready to do something about all this. Are you Welcome sure back. you're not interested? What? Uh. That door was locked. That's good. I think we only need to ask him to stop the invasion over here. I was right about you. All right. What's involved with finalizing the defenses? Inspecting the perimeter, talking to the troops. I fought in a war or two, but I'm no general. In my experience, people like you are better at strategy. You want a hand in making the plan, you got it. I'm ready to finalize the battle plans. You sure? Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. I'm certain. I've done all I can. All right. Then we got a lot to do. How does it know who's hostile and who's not Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. Cool. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. Go on. The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunza's defenses. It isn't going to be easy. I suspect we're going to have to fight on the inside. They've got three entrances they're going to try and break in. Here's the front door, the security door on the side, and the garage door in back. We got three squads of militia. We can assign people to the front, back, or inside. Backside has to guard two entrances. The front will have to fight more people, and the inside will have to deal with any of the breakthrough. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? The inside by the administrator's door. No, can you tell me about the squads? First squad is most experienced. The only squad that could go blaster to blaster against the mercs. Second squad has a lot of passion, but no experience. Third squad is new and not trained too well, and they may break in combat. They need a good leader to make them effective. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? Uh... The back by the garage. The battles that had the least dying were always led by Jedi. I'm gonna go with what you think. Where do you want the second squad? They have a lot of passions, but but, but not a lot of, of gods, so... We're going to... Alright, where do you want the third squad, the new recruits? Inside. Fine by me. The last question is, where do you want to go? Either the front or the back. I'll take whichever one you don't. That way both sides have leadership. I'll take the front. Uh, no, they needed a good... The new guys needed a good leader. Oh, jeez. I'm an idiot. Okay. I'll take... I'll, I'll try covering the two back entrances. The back? I suppose that there is more ground to cover with. Once the fighting starts, you gotta stay in your area. We both have to guard our half of the battlefield. Come over to me and the mercs will just charge straight into Kunda. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Have you talked with the men? Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. I think they could use some encouragement. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. <laughs> Tell them they're doomed. Remind them their friends and family are counting on them. 
What we're about to do is dangerous, but important. Important for friends and family. Enemies want to take everything worth taking from you, and we have to give it our all to stop them. So look around you. That's what we're fighting for. Each one of us has to back the other up. We can win this if we work as a team. Yay! You're much better with words than me. I think it'll really help. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dan Twin falls with us. That's a pretty big mercenary army then, I have to say. Tell me what you see, soldier. They're mobilizing the militia. Looks like a lot of activity down there. They've been warned. It won't be of any use. The plan doesn't change. Captains, prepare your men. Their leader, Administrator Tarina, must not survive the battle. Everything else is secondary to that objective. Okay. Cool. Turrets seem to be working well. Okay. Let's see. Gotta need a uh, ranged character here. Say the word. Uh, level up, please. Uh, re entry. Would I actually be good here? Watchman plaster. There we go. Okay. Where would that came from? Okay, I think we got them. Oh no, more of them. That's annoying. Okay, let's see. Level up, please. <sighs> and that might actually be the bet for the best, yeah. Feats. Uh Master Empathy, Powers, uh, 
force wave. I shall honor them as Soldiers, fall back inside. God damn it. Damn it. Okay. So you are the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. You can still back away. You have no idea who you're talking to. I was going to spare your worthless life. I see I was in error. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. Okay. Cool. You can be sure that Dondoin will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this time. The Jedi? I'm happy to help. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. Uh, please keep the credits and use them to rebuild Kunda. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Don Duin will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the Administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. Where are all the Jedi? There are a few of us left, but I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. Where are these other Jedi? We have chosen to hide our presences from each other, so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. Must be a way to assemble all the Jedi. We cannot. And we have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But we had hoped to outmaneuver oh. them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. And what then? Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. I want to talk about something else. You have more questions for me? Uh. The Sith have revealed themselves. Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. They exist. They have already attacked me. Why would they attack you? You are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. 
I do not know. They believe me to be a Jedi. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentween. And from there we may decide what can be done. Do you have more questions for me? At the end of my trial, you and the other masters said something had happened to me. What was it? You have seen the end of your trial? Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this knowledge. I heard it in a hollow transcription of my trial. That was intended only for the Jedi Council. If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision and its consequences. Don't you think I have a right to know? There is little I can tell you. Master Kavar felt something had happened to you in the war, but all he had was suspicions, not truths. And Kavar was too close to you in any event. He, too, felt the call of war and took to battle more than a Jedi should. His speculations would not help you now, but enough of this. It is knowledge for the Council alone until they choose to reveal it. You have more questions for me? Do you know anything about... no. Why did you cut me off from the Force? We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the Force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. Then what happened to me? But I have re-established re my connection to the Force. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your... connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? I'll be going now. I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. Now watch and learn. This form is a Taru. Because it is such an aggressive fighting style, you should only use it against single opponents. And don't try using this form amidst heavy fire. Nothing is more embarrassing for a Jedi than to be cut down by a stray bluster shot. I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. Items received lightsaber. There is nothing. Okay. Still not talking to me, I see. I'm here. Yeah. Level up, please. Let me just get my stats out here uh, trade injury feet master flurry atten Skills. Demolitions. Security. Let's see, rapid shot. Proof rapid shot. Here we go. Something up? Ok. 
Okay, let's go. Uh. All remains. Oh, you survived. That was some intense fighting. I'm glad we both made it through. And the mercenaries didn't. Okay. And you survived as well. That's cool. I guess we're leaving then. This is weird. This is again the thing with the uh, sort of abrupt endings. Uh, assessing disguise battery. Okay. I guess that's that then. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Okay. Okay. That works. HK droid processor. Cool. Well, that was sort of Team Rocket Plus off again. I feel like that was supposed to be a cutscene there, but apparently not. I'm glad I found you again, General. What are, uh, what are you talking about? We were together at Malachor. I don't know if anyone else could understand. So why are you here? You're getting philosophical on me? I'm here because you found me on Telos and I decided to come along for the ride. Not that I had much choice after we got going. I, we could let you off where we stopped next. Tired of me already? I was frustrated. Watching the Athorians getting pushed around by Zerka, I thought I could make a difference, but it was taken away from me. Guess if one planet was good enough for me, why not the galaxy? Even if you knew what was wrong with it, how would you know where, where to start? You just have to know what the circuits look like. If you see them, let me know. I'll be sure to do that, General. Was there something you wanted me for? Okay. Cool. Let's put that extra bed in, in HK then. This is low hum from within the droid and the sound circuit sparking, restoring power throughout the droid systems. Diagnostic. HK-47 activated. Running checks through primary systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. Why were you in our storage, storage hold? Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here, although this place does seem familiar. Extrapolation. Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. Are you okay? Answer. If by okay, 
You mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols? Then no, I am not okay. Furthermore, I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to reveal my true function as an assassin droid of unrivaled sophistication. Any idea what happened to you? Answer. It seems you would know more than I. My memory centers are experiencing some setbacks. Reflection. Of course, for some reason, that does not alarm me. I suspect I have suffered such repeated memory failures before. Still, the loss of my higher combat and assassination protocols is shameful and degrading. You look a lot like a series of droids that have attacked me. Answer. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. And regardless, I am a unique model. Why, to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. Well, there are at least four other now defunct versions of you in the galaxy. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. As I have expressed, I am unique. There's a, there's a series of HK-50 units sharing your model and function that I've encountered on multiple occasions. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check the ship's records, and we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. Are you alright? Mockery. Am I alright? <laughs> oh yes, master. Why, I am fine. Statement. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. Well, okay. But if they are in fact hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper assassination protocols. Conclusion. So it seems I need you, for the time being. Any idea what happened to you? Answer. Oh, it right, really, yes. You're an assassin droid. Recitation. Yes, as I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master. Oh, how I hate that term. What? Meat bag? Answer. No, Master. Uh, I said it again. Well, get used to it. Answer. Yes, master. <laughs> A register me droid? Answer. Yes, master. HK-47 is ready to serve. Woo! HK's, HK's back. Statement. As I have studied your actions, looking for potential vulnerabilities to exploit, I have found several. Vulnerabilities? Statement. You seem disposed to helping others, not harming them, as I have come to expect and anticipate from organic meat bags across the galaxy. Mercy and charity are not weaknesses. Statement. Oh, Master, please, of course they are. Any time you inconvenience or jeopardize yourself for another, it is a vulnerability. In any event, I feel compelled to point out that your self-destructive path of pacifism and sacrifice will only lead to your doom. That may be a trifle melodramatic, but frankly, it is something that all Jedi should hear. And I have been rehearsing the speech for some time. Uh, I've heard enough. Influence lost, HK-47. Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, he would be like that, but Kreia is supposed to be one of the good guys, so I don't know why she's like that. I keep bringing up Kreia, I'm sorry, but ugh, she annoys me. She really annoys me. If I was watching this episode of Hunger Plays, if you enjoyed it, I hope you're next time watching that again, so until then, bye!